If you ever wanted to build your own mining rig, you can always do that on buried1.com. I guide you with Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk for now with the latest GPUs, motherboards, CPUs and RAM that you need for your build. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Ubik. This coin isn't really that old, but it has some really cool features that I will explain during the video. And be sure to mine this coin and hold it for a while because this coin is going to have a very good future. Okay, so first of all I want you to do is go to ubixsmart.com and I will put a link in the description below of course and what you need to do is just go down and you will see that there are two wallets that you can download for your desktop is called Fusion and the Pyrus is for your browser. So for example if you want it on Chrome you can have Pyrus CX for Chrome or just web or source or whatsoever. You can run it offline if you want to but today I'm going to be using the Windows version. You can also have the OS X and the Linux one they look almost exactly the same but what you need to do is just click on Windows and it will start downloading the Fusion installer then you will need to sync with the blockchain and you will be able to create a new wallet onto your computer. So you can just add an account and give it a new address and give it a name of course. And then you will have your Ubik address as shown over here. So that's the first step you need to do on your own. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, so now that you have created your account on Fusion, you will have your own Ubik address and you just gave it a name. You can always change it if you press on the little thing over here. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to browse. This is gonna be really cool. You have a browser inside your Fusion. So it's actually something something like Chrome or whatsoever. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna go to buried one, buried1.com and then we're gonna download the latest minor download of Ubik. So you can go to minor downloads and go to Ubik and you will see that I have made this. So this works perfect inside Fusion. So that was the reason why I'm changing my website. You will see some glitches going around these days because I'm changing it very hard. So as you can see, it is on the Claymore Miner V10.0. AMD and Nvidia cards are supported. And even one really awesome feature is that this is supported on one gigabyte card. So if you still have some two gigabyte cards laying around or even one gigabyte cards, you are able to bind on Ubik because the DAC size is only one gigabyte and it will take about six years until it reaches two gigabyte DAC files. So this is really nice for all GPUs that you're still using for mining Ubik because they've changed the files, let's say from Ethereum to their own kind and they changed a lot of things like block times so to extend the deck growing size. So that was really nice, one of their features that I really like. So today we're going to be downloading the Ubik for Windows, of course. You can also download it for Linux, but we're going to download the Windows version. So you can just download it straight from this Fusion inside your browser. So this is really nice. And we're also going to be able to track our mining progress through Fusion. So that's really nice and we're gonna save it real quickly on our desktop over here. And there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put Fusion down for a second. We're gonna extract this to our desktop. Now we're gonna open up the files of the Ubik Miner and you will see that there are a few files inside there. So as you see, I called it the Start Miner 1 Gigabyte Plus because it supports all cards above 1 Gigabyte and that's really good. So we're only going to show you how to do the Ubik one today with single mining. You can also do dual mining with this, but you can figure it out yourself. But I gave you some examples for Decred and Pascal coin. So what you're going to do is right click the file and hit edit. It's going to ask you if you want to protect your computer because it's a batch file. But after that, you will see that this is pretty easy. We're going to be using the ubicpool.io today and you don't need to change anything on these. But what you need to change is the ubic address 
and the minor name. So also like on my pool we can only use six characters so you can only go to minor one and if you go to minor 11 we have seven characters it will not work. So make sure you can only use six of these characters on the minor name. Then after you changed it, so we called it minor one and we have our Ubic address inside there and you can always find your Ubic address of course over here. You can just copy it over like that and go back to the script and then paste it again inside the minor script. So after you've changed your wallet address from your Ubic over here and change your minor name to maximum of six characters, you can save it up like that. You can close it. And what we're gonna do now is just run the miner. So it's gonna go and ask you for permission to join on your firewall, of course. That's always what it's gonna be asking. Like that. And now it's gonna start mining on the Ubic pool. And one really good thing is that the difficulty is so low that you can find like one block a day with about 200 or 300 megahertz per second and that's really nice. So that's one of the biggest features that it's doing is having really good block time. So it's 88 seconds for a single block and the reward is 8, eight ubic at the same time. But they have done something really cool. The block reward is 8 blocks at this year, but next year it's only go gonna be 7 blocks, uh, 7 ubic, and every year there's gonna be 1 ubic less every block. So in 7 years the block reward will only be 1 ubic every 88 seconds. So that means that ubic is gonna be like 8 times more rare than it's currently. So if you have 1000 ubic right now, it will be 8 times less in seven years so that's really nice to keep up the inflation of a coin but now that we are mining and we just found a share we can go ahead and go back to fusion and we're gonna browse one more thing so i said that we are gonna be using the ubicpool.io today so you can just browse it ubicpool.io and then you'll be redirected to the mining pool where you are currently on and of course you will need your address to find your mining. So what we're gonna do is go back to the wallet real, real quickly and we're gonna copy our wallet address one more time. We're going back to the browsing. We're going to miners on the pool. And then we're gonna enter our Ubic address. So you can just look it up and you will see that we have a miner one called over here. So we had a share about 37 seconds ago and it will appear over here so that's really nice you can go ahead and mine ubic on your wallet at the same time so you can look up how your miner is doing and you know how much ubic you have got on a single system so that's really nice to see how fusion is doing this so i really love it i know ethereum has it too but ubic just made it look really really sexy you know and that's the reason why i love it so much but of course ubic has a lot of things in mind to do in the future and it's a really great coin i'm gonna make some more videos about it but hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one